Was it the holidays? Uh, no, it wasn't that. Well, then why you decided to come in tonight? Um, I'm trying to fix my mind. Howard is a brilliant man. And he's not just a boss, he's a friend. He lost his child, and now he doesn't care if he loses everything else. This might be the strangest thing I have ever come across. He writes letters. Who are they to? Howard doesn't write letters to people. He writes to things. Time. Love. Death. Kids write letters to Santa Claus. It doesn't mean they're crazy. No, this is therapeutic. You don't think I'm crazy, but I'm having conversations. Death came first. She met me in the dog park. Charmed, I'm sure. So death is a her. Turns out death is an elderly white woman. Remember me? I'm time. You wrote me because you need me. Howard? Ask her. But ask her if she can see me. He was sitting right here. And he just appeared, right? I'm love. And I'm the fabric of life. Something's starting to happen to you. Howard? I don't know what to do to bring you back. What if love, death, and time are trying to help you? You need to talk to them, Howard. Challenge them. Just engage. Love is the reason for everything. I felt you every day when she laughed. And you broke my heart. I was there in her love. But I'm also here now in your pain. He's reaching out to the cosmos for answers. Just be sure to notice the collateral beauty. It's the profound connection to everything. He accepts that. Maybe he gets to find his life again. You're not here to take me, are you? No, Howard. I'm here to ride the F train with you. Let's love tonight.